door. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 action thriller Kandahar. The film is directed by Rick Roman Waugh and it stars Gerard Butler. Now Gerard Butler's character is called Tom Harris in this film. And essentially he is a CIA operative that is working in Afghanistan. And his job essentially is to do covert missions uh, to disrupt or destroy like the infrastructure of the Afghanistani um, regime. While there, his cover gets blown and himself and his interpreter, Mohammed, have to travel 400 miles to Kandahar in order to get away safely. However, they are um, chased throughout the whole trip and it becomes a fight for survival uh, to stay alive, basically. Right, what are my thoughts on Kandahar? Well, if that plot sounds familiar and you've seen the recent Guy Ritchie film, The Covenant, then you'd be right, they are both very, very similar films. Similar ideas, similar concepts, executed slightly differently, but they are, you know, two sides of the same coin, if you like. Um, now, I, I have reviewed The Covenant recently on this channel, and I, I thought it was brilliant, an outstanding film. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, that felt a little bit more grounded than this film. This film is more of a straight action flick, I think I would probably say, than The Covenant. The Covenant's a little bit more thoughtful. But this is, this is certainly an entertaining film. Um, it's just, like I say, just not as thoughtful and not as, I don't know, impactful, maybe, as the, um, the Guy Ritchie film, The Covenant. But for the most part, I, I was entertained with this film. I mean, I am quite a big fan of Gerard Butler. I think he's, he's always reliable with movies like this. Sometimes he does fairly bang average stuff. He's never, he hasn't done many stinkers, I think it's fair to say. He always does films that are quite watchable. Um, and his last film, Plane, for me, was a real surprise. I expected that to be a bang average film. And that one quite impressed me and surprised me. I thought it was a, a pretty good film. Um, so I went in this with this film with high expectations in a lot of ways. Um, and while I don't think this film disappointed, it's certainly not up to, I don't think, the same level and standard as playing in regard to entertainment value. Um, I think where this one falls down is it's not, it almost gets bogged down in its own politics at times, this one a little bit. And there are moments in this film where the being chased almost by two different factions and you're not exactly sure who these factions are and why they are fighting with each other to get to him first almost it, 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 i didn't feel it did a great job of explaining all that um it just it just didn't it, it, it didn't feel like that and i also felt like and i, I don't want to keep comparing this to the covenant but they are very very similar films as i've mentioned Whereas I felt like the bond that was built up between the Jake Gyllenhaal character and his interpreter in The Covenant was, you know, really strong, this bond that they had. I didn't feel as though that existed with this time round with Gerard Butler and his interpreter, um, Mohammed, played by uh, Navid Negaban. Um, by the end of their journey, I think I felt like the, the bond was a little bit stronger but i i didn't necessarily understand why this interpreter was brought in um because they brought him in from america to do to be gerard butler's interpreter surely there was somebody in the country that could have done the job i didn't understand why they had to bring him in from america really and he never needed him really other than one or two scenes gerard butler never needed him as it for uh, to be an interpreter it, it just seemed i don't know it almost seemed like a forced plot line uh, to a large degree and the message in the covenant was for me much stronger uh, because not only was the jake jill and all character felt like a, uh, he had a real bond and he had a real sense of duty to his interpreter which is why he has to go back 
um, and it tells a more deeper story in the sense of the injustice that the interpreters um, have experienced um, in real life. You know, they, they, they gave so much to the US forces and the US forces or the America itself essentially turned their back on them. This one doesn't try and do anything like that with its with its message or its story sort of thing. Certainly I didn't get that impression. Um, so if you if you want a, a if you want a, like more of a straight action approach to this kind of storytelling, this you, you'll probably appreciate this one a little bit more. Um, it's it, it's it, for me it's much more of a straight action flick than um, the other one that I have mentioned quite a lot. But like I said, Gerard Butler I think generally is always reliable, and I think this 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 film is. It's, it's a strange one in a sense, it almost at times feels like an indie film. Um, and then you get like the Hollywood explosions and things like that. It feels like a small independent film at times when you're watching it. Um, and then you get you get flashes of huge budget thrown at the film with the explosions and the gunfights and the helicopter chases and things like that. Um, but I, I've, I've found this fairly entertaining. I think... Um, it's, it's odd, I mean, years ago, there used to be, you know, the, the, every other year or something, there'd be like two asteroid films that would come out, or two disaster films of the same sort of thing, or uh, there were like two asteroid films of like Armageddon and Deep Impact, and then you got like Volcano and Dante's Peak, and they all came out of the same year sort of thing, and, you know, it was always like, oh, which one's going to do better? We haven't seen that for a, for a long time, and I'm not sure... I don't think this has obviously been done on purpose to copy each other, this and the Covenant. I think it's almost, it's probably a coincidence. Um, and the both warrant a watch, I would say. I think the Covenant is a better film than this, but this is uh, certainly an entertaining film. Um, if you're a fan of Gerard Butler, you'll probably enjoy your time with this one. I think he's always watchable and he's, he's, he's actually very good here as this character tom harris um who really has to step up to the mark and stay alive and they don't make him out to be like this invincible superhero or anything like that it is a real scramble to stay alive with him and his interpreter um and they're getting some real scrapes and you you know you do get to the point you're kind of like how are they going to get out of this you know what i mean they're never going to get out of this and you do end up rooting for them you really really do you want them to kind of get out and get away and there are moments in the film you're thinking, this is just not going to happen. They're not, it's not going to happen. They're going to get caught. They're going to get tortured. They're going to get killed and all this kind of stuff. So it, it does a good job, this film, I think, of keeping you on the edge of your seat. It just, where it doesn't do a great job is the stuff in between that. You know, there are scenes back in the US of people in, like, um, a room discussing this, that, and the other that are pretty dull. Or there are other scenes where there are people talking, and you're like, I'm not interested in that. Um, the, the, where the film is interesting is when Gerard Butler and his interpreter are on the screen uh, beyond that it's just not brilliant really in that sense so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this review I'll be back with more content on the channel very very soon